Hi, Marcus here from Studio One Expert. And what I thought we would do today is have a look at an introduction to using macros. Now, for those of you who don't know, Studio One comes with the ability to set up macros. So what are macros? Well, macros are a really simple and efficient way that you can string together a bunch of different commands so that they can happen simultaneously with a single keystroke. So that can be something really simple or it can get really advanced. So let's have a look at taking a very useful feature in Studio One and programming it to a macro and then taking it one step further and then programming that macro to a single key command. So for this particular example, and just to keep things simple, we're going to be going over data zoom. Now, what is data zoom? Well, if you hover to the bottom right here of your range window, you'll notice that we have this slider. And if I move this up, I'm zooming in the resolution of the actual data on the events. So essentially, I'm just zooming in the waveform. Now, it's important to note that this doesn't have anything to do with event gain. So for instance, if I move the event gain up here, you'll see that that's increased. And that's not just visually, that's actually the gain being increased as well. With this particular data zoom here, I can increase the size of these waveforms, but I'm not increasing the actual level of the waveforms. So this comes in really handy when you need to have a little bit more resolution when you're doing some editing of some sort where you really wanna see things. So I can just quickly zoom in here and I can have a little bit more resolution as opposed to that. Okay, so let's have a look at how we can set this up to work for us. Now, the first thing that you need to know whenever you're programming a macro is you need to have an idea of what the name of the actual function or command that you want to program. So in my particular case, I know that it has something to do with data zoom because I can hover my cursor over here and you'll notice that it says data zoom right over there. So the first thing that we need to do here is I'm just gonna click this macro tab and then I'm gonna click this little wrench icon. So let's just go ahead and open up the macro organizer. Now you notice that I've already created a bunch of different macros here that I use a lot in my day-to-day -day workflow. So in this particular instance, we're gonna go with data zoom in. I'm just gonna click the edit tab here so you can see what I've done. Now what I've actually done here is I've added this command to happen 10 times in a row. Now, why did I do that? Well, it's simple because the increments and the amount of steps are really fine. So I needed something that was a little bit more coarse. So if I was to right now, let's say, take eight of these off here, I'm gonna select these and we will remove them and let's click okay, close this down. Now you'll notice that my increments are gonna be really fine. So I'm going in two step increments, but it takes me quite a lot of pushes to get it to be increase in the size. Now my one keystroke here or two keystrokes is gonna return me back to where I need to be. So let's click that again. We'll open up our macro organizer. We'll go into our data zoom in, edit. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and delete that and we'll recreate that from scratch. So data zoom in, I'm selecting this and I'm gonna delete this. We're gonna say yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and add this macro now. So the first thing I'm gonna do again, we're gonna click our wrench icon. We're gonna to go to the macro organizer. I'm gonna click new. Now, first thing I need to do here is I wanna give it a name. So I'm gonna name it data zoom in. Okay, now I need to find this particular command to add it to the macro. So in the search option here, I'm just gonna click data. You'll notice that it's brought up in under zoom, we have data zoom in. So I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna add it and I'm gonna add this 10 times because like I said, I don't just wanna have those fine steps. I want it to jump up in course increments. So we've got one. Okay, so there's our 10. So we've added those. Okay, now I just need to click okay here. You'll notice that we've got data zoom in. Okay, so this is great. Everything's been added the way we need it to be. But the only thing is, I don't wanna have to use my mouse at all. I just wanna be able to map this, these 10 commands or this one command that's gonna repeat 10 times. I wanna map this out to a single key within Studio One. So for that, we're gonna head over to the Studio One menu here. I'm gonna to go to keyboard shortcuts and I'm gonna do a search again. So I'm gonna to go to data. So you'll notice that it's brought up our data zoom in and our data zoom out. Now, you'll notice here that I have macros. So this is exactly what I need. So it's found the macro that's data zoom in that we've already created, which is the data zoom in command repeated or stacked upon itself 10 times. 
So let's go ahead and click data zoom in. And then I wanna enter a key that I wanna map it out to. Now I'm gonna hit the plus key, which is right beside my delete key. Now it's also equals, but I can see it as a plus and minus. So that makes sense to me visually, and it's really easy to remember. So let's go ahead and assign that now. Okay, so now I'm gonna click the plus key, and you'll notice that we just had a step of 10 on the data zoom. So now, instead of having to go to the mouse slider every single time I wanna zoom in, I can simply click my shortcut as many times as I want to. Now, let's have a really quick look at my data zoom out macro that I created. Go to edit. I'm not sure exactly how many there are. There could be a hundred, uh, not, not entirely sure, but I've done a lot of these. And basically the reason that I did so many is because if I click the plus key three or four times to zoom in really quickly, I just wanna click the minus key once to return me to my default view, which is with the zoom all the way at the minimum level. So that's the reason that I have so many of the data zoom outs stacked up on top of each other. And then of course, it's the exact same principle. Once I've created that macro, I just head over to Studio One, Keyboard Shortcuts, do my search, and then I can find that data zoom out in the macro, and then I can assign my key command, which I've already done at this point. Anyways, so that's an introduction to using macros and mapping them out to a single key command. I hope you guys got something from this, and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.